What's going on YouTube? If you're like me, you're really excited that you just received your Deeper Connect Pico, or maybe you received your Deeper Connect Mini, or maybe you received that bundle package. Speaking of which, if you yet haven't bought one of these, check my link down below because they're still running some pretty sweet deals. But Pico is a decentralized VPN. The Mini is a decentralized VPN, meaning you buy it once. There's no annual fees. There's no monthly fees. This is going to unlock the World Wide Web no matter where you are. I'll leave a video up here if you don't yet know about it. But you're probably really excited to set up mining too because you want to make that passive income. You want this device to start paying you. Now I've decided to make this video because I, I, I really couldn't find the video to help me set it up personally. It took me a little while, so I want to try and simplify the process. This is mainly for people within the US, but the process is the same. If you're not in the US, you can still follow this video. So let's get into it. And oh yeah, we're going to use the Binance Smart Chain because it's going to save us on those gas fees. Fees were about 30 bucks, so that's not really bad. But enough about it. Let's get into this video and start mining. Before I get into the mining tutorial, I just want to give you an update or just a very quick overview of what this product is. This is the Deeper Connect Pico, which is more like their travel decentralized VPN product. They also have a mini, which is a little bit larger and intended to be more in your home or more in your office. But I've been using this in my home and I've had no problems with it whatsoever. It's a decentralized VPN. It's a peer to peer network, if you will. I'm sharing my IP. You are sharing your IP. And we're able to, to surf the web the way we want to. We're able to surf the web without any restrictions. Now, speaking of restrictions, this is going to block online ads. It can also block those naughty websites. There's a full admin control panel for you to see what exactly is going on. And if you don't want to share your IP, you don't have to. You can turn that off. Although if you don't share your IP, you're not going to be able to mine. That's just a way that Deeper Connect is keeping things on an equal playing field and, and letting you earn income as you improve, I guess, as you improve their network. But again, I've been really happy with this. I've been able to watch the BBC. I've been able to watch Netflix. I've been able to watch The Zone no matter where I am. I can even change my location. And that's the best thing about it. I've done a full review on it, so I'll leave that video up here and in my description below. But now let's get into the mining capabilities of this Pico device and, of course, of the mini device. Let's start off with it. I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do. Take your time with it, guys. It's, it's a process that might take you longer than the average bear, but that's okay, because once it's done, you'll be mining and making that income. Because finances are involved, I do want to put a little disclaimer. Definitely watch this video, and, and if you need extra help, if some things aren't really super, super clear, ask me down in the comments below, or the community is going to help you out as well. And you can also check online for other, other follow-through directions, and I'll leave those down in my description as well. But I don't want to be responsible for you guys losing money, because that, that definitely would suck. So I'm not responsible if you guys mess it up. That's just something I wanted to throw in there. Just as a reminder, if you like this video, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if it really helped you out as that helps promote this channel on YouTube. Let's head over to this tutorial and start mining together. Let's start with the tutorial and you're going to need a couple of accounts. If you don't yet have accounts to Coinbase, Qcoin or Metamask, please use my link down below. It's an affiliate link. I get a little bit of a kickback, but the best thing is you as well get a kickback. So we're kind of helping each other out. You're helping out JabberTech and you're helping yourself at the same time. So it's really win-win. But to start off this process, you're going to need three accounts. And again, this is, a, this is a tutorial for those of you within the US. If you're not in the US, it's still gonna work. You just do not need a Coinbase account. But here in the US, we need a Coinbase, we need a Qcoin, and we need a MetaMask account. So go ahead and sign up for those three accounts and that's, that'll start you off with this process right away. Now that you have all three accounts set up, the next step that you need to do is purchase some Bitcoin. Now this Bitcoin, you're going to transfer into your Qcoin account. Now again, this is the process I've used. If you use different wallets, it's going to be about the same process, but this is what I've done and it worked flawlessly for me. If you're in the US, again, use that Coinbase account. If you're not in the US, you can do everything right from Qcoin or wherever you have your Bitcoin stashed at. But here in the US, I'm, I'm using Coinbase and I chose to only invest a thousand DPR into this project, which is about $100 at the time of this video. DPR was about 11 cents. I'm just going to call it 10 cents to make it easy with this video. And you also need enough Bitcoin to cover your, your Binance coin, which is going to cover all of the gas fees involved. So again, do your math correctly or, or don't do your math correctly like I didn't do. And you're going to end up with a couple extra coins in your wallet. But again, decide how much you want to invest in this project. 1,000 DPR, 100 bucks is the minimum that you have to invest. The more you invest, the higher possibility for return 
And also, if you only invest the minimum like I did, you have to wait about 200 days for your credit score to go up to 100. So you're going to wait the good part of a year in order to start reaping the benefits. But for me, I personally didn't want to put too much into it. But it all depends on how deep your wallet is and how, how invested you want to be in this project. So now once you decide how much Bitcoin you want to buy, go ahead and click on that purchase button. The next thing you want to do is go to your Qcoin account and you want to find your your actual Bitcoin wallet. Now make sure you're transferring from Bitcoin wallet to Bitcoin wallet. If you don't, you're going to lose your funds. So just take, take your time with it and make sure everything is correct. Go into your settings in Qcoin and look for the deposit tab. Click on deposit tab and click on BTC. That's going to give you your account number that you need to copy into Coinbase. Once you copy your Bitcoin wallet, go ahead and paste that into Coinbase. Now again, this is the amount of Bitcoin you want to transfer that's going to allow you to buy the DPR and allow you to buy that Binance coin. Now the not so fun part is it, it takes almost about an hour for it to transfer from one account to another. At least that's what it took me on each time that I've done this. So as you're waiting, you might as well go in and set up your, your MetaMask account for the tokens that you need. So go on in and again, I'll leave a step-by-step -step guide down in the description below, but you want to import the DPR token and you also want to set up the Binance network into MetaMask as well. So once you do that, you'll be able to successfully transfer your coins from Qcoin into MetaMask and then eventually connect your deeper connect to your MetaMask wallet. So again, guys, now that you have everything set up, you should see your, you should see your Qcoin balance increase with that Bitcoin that you just transferred over. What you need to do now is you need to sell your Bitcoin so you can get some cash in order to buy the DPR. It sounds a little confusing, guys, but it really isn't. In order to buy DPR, you need to buy it with cash. So you have to sell your, your Bitcoin into cash. Once you do that, guys, again, depending how much you want to stake, go ahead and make that purchase of your DPR. And keep in mind to transfer out of Qcoin into MetaMask, I believe it cost me about 20 DPR. So it'll show you it'll show you beforehand what your fees are. So just make sure you do that accordingly. Otherwise, you're just going to have to purchase some more and you're going to have to wait. And it could be a little bit of a pain if you have to transfer a little bit more Bitcoin to buy a little bit more DPR, which is what I had to do. And I wasn't too happy about it. So do the math, get a calculator and figure it out or just wing it and have a little bit extra. It doesn't really matter at this point. Now that we've purchased the appropriate amount of DPR coins, the next step that you have to do is transfer those DPR coins into your MetaMask account. So go to your MetaMask extension within your browser, click on your wallet address, go to the withdrawal section of KuCoin, go ahead and enter that wallet address information, hit on withdrawal, it's going to send it to your MetaMask account. Now while you're waiting for that to transfer, head back over to the Deeper Connect Mining Registration page. I'll leave that link down in the description below. Follow the prompts, register your device on their network, and then you can figure out how much you want to stake from their little calculator there. And then once you click on stake, obviously you don't have enough coins to cover those fees, but once it links up with MetaMask, it's going to let you know how many coins you actually have to buy. Now that we know roughly how many coins we have to buy, depending on the amount that we're going to stake, go back to KuCoin and either use purchase Binance coin using cash or using BTC, which is the Bitcoin you might have left over from that initial transfer. Once you purchase the Binance coin, go ahead and follow that same process of withdrawing it into your MetaMask account. If you've done it all correctly, you will see your, your balance increase in MetaMask. You can see your Binance coin and you can see your DPR coin as well. Next, what you want to do is go to the basic mining registration page. Now, once you've set this up, guys, that's basically it. You're going to choose how much you want to invest in this project once again, how much you want to stake. And once you do that, you'll be up and running in no time. It seems like a lot, a lot of process, but it really isn't. And I just couldn't find the video that actually helped me out. So I wanted to make something to kind of help you guys out as well. That was the end of the video tutorial. Now, I'm just kind of curious. I'm sure those of you that have already been mining have watched this video. If you have, I'm kind of curious, how well has it paid off for you? Let me know down in the comments below. How much are you actually making? Because for me, I didn't go after this for any type of get rich quick type of scheme. I, I went after it just for a little bit of fun. I went after it just to kind of see where it went. And that's why I only invested the initial thousand DPR or hundred bucks once you convert it. 
I wasn't comfortable putting in 600 or even a thousand bucks into this product, but if you're rolling deep like that, for all means, go ahead and do it. But I just wanted to kind of back the product just a little bit more, and hopefully if the price does go up, it might even might even prove me wrong. Let's hope I can do an update video in about a year and, and completely prove myself wrong in this video. But again, I think that you should just go after it as a fun little project. I don't think I don't think anyone's gonna get rich quick using this Pico device and, and mining every single day, but that's just my thoughts. Again, let me know down in the comments below if you've been mining for a while and how much you've actually made. I don't really believe those videos out there that, that show that they're making hundreds upon hundreds every day. That's just fake news, guys. My channel is not about fake news. My channel is about great tech, and this is great tech no matter how you look at it. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Once again, thumbs up, subscribe, as that helps me out. I'll catch you guys in another video.